This Thai style curry is easy to make and packed with flavor which makes it the perfect meal prep option. Let me show you how to make it. First add your rice to some cold water and bring it to a boil. While you're waiting on it to boil, dice one to one and a half pounds of chicken breast into one inch chunks. Once your rice is boiling, cover it with a lid or some foil and drop the temperature to a low simmer. Season your chicken with a heavy pinch of salt and pepper. About a quarter cup of low sodium soy sauce. A tablespoon of sesame oil, the juice from one lime, and about a tablespoon and a half of red curry paste. You can add or remove as much as you want. We're just going to let this marinate for about 20 minutes and if you're crunched for time you don't necessarily need to marinate the chicken with any of this and the recipe is still going to be delicious. If you have a bit of extra time, let this sit and marinate for a little bit longer. Now prep your pre-washed vegetables. I like to use red and green bell peppers and some green onions in this. People cut bell peppers in many different ways, but I like to make my cuts in between the ribs, which avoids the white part inside called the pith. I find this way a little bit faster than other ways. Slice your bell peppers into strips, also referred to as a julienne cut. For the green onions, you can cut the darker parts into two inch sections or slice them thin, whichever you prefer. Once you get down to the lighter part of the onion, slice this down and separate it from the other cuts that you made. You'll be sauteing the lighter parts with the peppers. After 14 to 15 minutes of simmering your rice, you can set it off to the side and let it rest for five minutes. Now, whether you marinate the chicken or not, pat it dry with a cloth and then add it to the hot skillet. Once your rice is rested for five minutes covered, go ahead and fluff the rice. So just take a spatula and lift the rice from the bottom of the pot. Once the chicken is almost cooked through, remove it from the pan and place it into a bowl. Bring your pan back up to heat and add your bell peppers and the lighter parts of the green onion. Once the vegetables are lightly sauteed, remove them from the pan and add them to the cooked chicken. We're going to make the curry sauce now and add the chicken and the vegetables back in later. Add about 3 tablespoons of the red curry paste to a hot pan and cook it until it's fragrant. You can add more or less, but that's going to be dependent upon how spicy you want this sauce to be. Then add one full can of unsweetened coconut milk. I like to add a little bit of the cream or the white part of a second can. And let it simmer for about a minute until combined. You can also add a little salt to taste at this point. Add about a third of a cup of peanut butter to the sauce and the juice from one lime. And two tablespoons of brown sugar. Then add a can of drained chickpeas. And after that, you can add the cooked chicken and the vegetables back to the skillet. Then add the darker parts of the green onions that you cut earlier. Let this simmer for a few minutes and that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Once you're ready to eat, add your steamed rice to a bowl and spoon the curry over the top. Then garnish the dish with some chopped roasted peanuts and a little bit of cilantro goes nice with this. The best part about this recipe is the longer it sits in the fridge, the more that flavor develops so it makes really great leftovers. Hence why this is one of my favorite meal prep dishes. Please do me a huge favor and subscribe, make this recipe, and then let me know how it goes.